All right, right, Donald Trump making his final push in New Hampshire for tonight's primary. So I went to his rally last night. First, we watched him land the plane, talked to him on the plane, had a chance to then see what it's like to go into that caravan that goes for another hour and a half to his event right in the center so cool. of New Hampshire. So, cool. so here's a look behind the scenes as he talks about his mindset going into a rally and the role of his family plays. We're here. After an hour ride from the airport, we find ourselves in dead center of New Hampshire. Beautiful Laconia capacity crowd inside. The president just beat us in, so let's go meet him. I love the state. You know, the state was very good to me, New Hampshire, very good to me. If you remember uh, a little while ago, number one. We want to thank the people of New Hampshire, right? You started it. Remember, you started it. And it was a big deal. Right. And uh, we went from there, we went right down the East Coast and Midwest, and then we went all over the place. So we ended up getting it very easily and winning the election. The word is you're thinking more national platform and less about the primary. I think that's true. I, we want to, we have a very big job. We have to beat the Democrats. We have to beat, we have to beat Biden. I mean, he's the worst president we've ever had. And we have to, he's destroying our country. You have some. Uh, some opponents that are now allies. Tell us what to expect. Well, we have some great people. Uh, we have Vivek, good old Vivek. We have Governor Bergham, who's here, who's from North Dakota, who's a, actually a very, very high-quality person. And we have Tim Scott, and he uh, just, as you know, endorsed. And we have some other fantastic people. But do you have a sense who you want to bring to Washington with you, and maybe who are you thinking about? Would you want to be on your team? Well, I think about it all the time. I can't tell you now. I want the best people. And the beauty is that when I first went, I didn't know anybody in Washington. I was a New York person. And now uh, I know everybody. I know the good, the bad, the dumb, the smart. I know every single, I know, I know everybody. And we, we're going to have an incredible team. Right from the beginning, we're going to have an incredible team. About your family. Word is Melania is going to play a, a bigger role when you feel as though you got the nomination. Can you tell me if that's true? Well, she's going to play, and she always did play a big role. She was uh, somebody that you could rely on. She's very smart, a very compassionate person. She wants to, uh, she really wants to see, she wants to make America great again, too. And I would rely on her for advice and all of the others. It was really, uh, I think she's going to be very active in the sense of being active. At the same time, I don't want my family to be too active because they did such a great job last time. And they really were gone after by people that were very unfair. I thought very, very unfair. Eric's fanned out all over. Don Jr. gets big crowds. So they are still involved. How has it been for them, being that you are probably one of the most famous people in the world, constantly in the spotlight? I think they handle it very well. But, you know, it's difficult when you're in politics. You have a certain group of people that no matter what you do, they're not going to love you. And uh, but I think they were treated very unfairly. They had to go through investigations over nothing, all nonsense, and, you know, years of it. It was politics. It was actually politics. And it's a very sad thing because we should be focused on America first, on, you know, just doing great things for our country. And instead, you're always fighting with... And by the way, if it, if it weren't me, if it was somebody else, the same thing would happen. They'd find out. They would be... They put them through the mill, and it's a shame. It's a bad system, and we shouldn't allow it to happen. How tall is Barron at this point? I mean, yeah, I'd say 6'8". Six, 6'8". Eight. Six, eight. <laughs> he's a tall one. He's a good boy, too. He's a good student, always good and good athlete. And he's a very, uh, he's a very good boy. My observation, it seems like you're, uh, you're relieved that now we're getting some results, that instead of just anticipating what it's going to be like, you're relieved when this stuff is coming in. Well, I like it. I like seeing it. I like the process. I was honored by Iowa last week. I mean, you look at those numbers. They were incredible. Those were incredible numbers. The best ever, actually. And uh, I think we're going to have the same thing here. I think this is going to be... I can feel it. What are they going to hear? Are they going to hear a speech from Trump talking about this country. We're going to win New Hampshire and then we're going to defeat crooked Joe Biden and we are going to make America great again. Okay. Nervous? Not too nervous. Not too before. nervous. Well, I've done it before and I've been interviewed by you before and you've always treated me fair. You've come a long way, actually. I'm very proud of you. Thank I you. was there first. You were very, you were, you might have done my first interview walking down Fifth Avenue. Is that yeah. what you're talking about? Where I asked you, you said, Brian, do you think I'm going to run? Nobody thinks I'm running. Right. 
You think I'm running, right? My gut tells me this announced coming in May and June that you're in. Okay, let's see what happens. That's true. Now we're walking down Fifth Avenue, everyone. It could have been my first. <laughs> Thanks, Thank Mr. President. I remember that a Brian. flashback. How did that happen? Was he just considering? We were doing a, it? We were doing a celebrity stroll. <laughs> and he said, I'll do it, uh, and I'll do it with you, but I'm only working one block. We should bring those back, and we should bring back Deuce uh, on the loose. Those but are just, a lot of fun. Yeah, but just a quick thing to add yeah. to that is the big thing with him is he says, I don't want my family involved. Yeah. You know, Ivanka says, I'm out, and I appreciate that, uh, could appreciate that. And Eric, they do stuff, and they got to go back to the business. But look what happened to them. They go on trial number one, number two. You have Jared Kushner. They try mm -hmm. to put him in jail for volunteering to do what he's doing. Did nothing wrong. And then you have Don Trump Jr. was what? By Adam Schiff bringing him uh, in to testify multiple times on this Russia investigation. So he feels worse about the family than him. What I loved about it, though, we saw inside his plane today. We had that great interview with some serious questions, but some lighthearted questions, yeah. too, like how tall is Jared? Which, I mean, um, Baird. Baird, which which is a cute question. Nine. Um, but Nine anyway, eight. it was great. Good job. We saw the. We saw Brian the had to stay up real late to get that. So good right. job. Uh, the main thing was to give a slice of life, not to do. Lawrence had a great one on one interview yeah. yesterday. I want to give a different perspective. What life is like right. behind the scenes. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.